Hello everyone and welcome. We're going to talk in this video course about Kedro, a Python framework for data science. First of all, we're going to introduce what's the problem that we're solving, how we approach that solution with Kedro. We're going to talk a little bit about what are the main features of the library and finally, how it fits into the ecosystem. After a brief introduction, we're going to go directly to see how you can use Kedro to create your data science projects by using a basic starter first, and then we will gradually introduce more complexity so that you can see some of the more advanced features. There we go. So first of all, the good, the bad, and the ugly. So what's the problem that we're trying to solve with Kedro in the first place? Kedro is born with the observation that we usually under-engineer data science projects that in turn creates a lot of technical depth. With under-engineering, we mean that we create code with reduced complexity with the aim of going faster at the beginning, but this has a high cost and we create lots of technical depth in the process and we make it more difficult to ourselves to maintain this code in the future. How do we usually pay off these technical depths? On one hand, there's the people doing the experimentation, the research, the analysis of the data science process, and then they hand off some models, some insights to the people putting this in production. Data engineers, machine learning engineers, depending on how the different teams are set up. And as a result, the people that create the data science code in the first place don't necessarily see how this code is put into production. And the people that have to put it into production have to go through some translation process that they don't always enjoy. So as we were saying, this has a number of consequences. So on one hand, there's a high failure rate of data science projects. On the other hand, there's a long time to transition between research and production. And in general, this results in a loss of productivity and happiness for everybody involved. Therefore, we wanted to solve this problem and we created Kedro to reduce technical depth and make it easier to transition data science projects from the research phase to production. In the next videos, we're going to see how we're doing this.